at class 10 you have already seen the syllabus of maths that we have recently shared in your group and in that you have seen that chapter 4 is not coming in term 1 examination this examination is going to be held in the month of november 2021 so keeping those things in your mind we have to reframe the syllabus we have to go through the syllabus very very carefully and uh, according to that syllabus you have to work properly so that you can do your exam well now today in that segment this chapter number 7 is there in our syllabus that is coordinate geometry so this time i am going to start this chapter coordinate geometry you are already aware about the coordinate system let us re revise something so in coordinate geometry we are studying two dimension two dimensional coordinate geometry it is having two dimensions here it is x axis and it is y axis as you are aware that when in a plane you are taking two perpendicular lines then you are having four parts first second third and fourth first part is known as the first quadrant this is known as first quadrant this is your second quadrant and this is your third quadrant this is your fourth quadrant in the first quadrant you know that sign of the first quadrant is positive sign of the second quadrant is plus and minus sign of the third quadrant is minus and minus sign of the fourth quadrant is plus and minus <coughs> now after that you are also aware that your x axis is also known as your abscissa and y axis is known as ordinate so abscissa and ordinate you are aware now if i am writing on x axis the all the points are coming like this x and 0 these are the th this is showing the x axis and on y axis you are aware that the points are showing 0 and y that means when you are writing the point in a uh, in a cartesian system that means the cartesian coordinate system then always you are writing x y the first value is for x and the second value is for y this is the first thing to be understood then the second thing is coming here that when in a coordinate system you are having two points suppose here a point a is there and here a point b is there in between these two point you want to find the distance of these two point so the coordinate of a is x1 and y1 the coordinate of b is x2 and y2 so the point a is having the coordinate x1 and y1 and the point b is having the coordinate x2 and y2 and suppose the distance between this point is d so what is the distance that is d then how to find this distance first of all today i am going to discuss the distance formula the distance formula is showing you how to find the distance between two given points in a coordinate plane that means in this coordinate plane suppose i have taken two point as a and b then how to find the distance between a b suppose the distance is d so here d is given by a formula that is the formula d is equal to under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square the distance is given by this formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square and this formula is known as distance formula this is known as distance formula distance formula so now you are aware about the distance formula distance formula is giving you the idea 
giving you the way how you can find the distance between two points in a Cartesian system. And suppose this is a Cartesian system and here two points are there. So for those points you are having their coordinates. What is the coordinate here? The x1 and y1 is the coordinate of A and x2 and y2 is the coordinate of B. So you just write down first this formula d that means distance is equal to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. After that <coughs> we will discuss other formula first of all let us see the application of this formula. So here one more thing I am going to tell you when you are starting any of the chapter go through the in introduction part and before starting the exercise in your NCRT book many things are written ok just go through to revise the things and whatever important point you are getting there or any new point you are getting there you take a pencil and underline it then write in your maths copy. Now I am starting exercise 7.1 here question number 1, 1. First question is there that is find the distance between the following pair of points. The points is given 2, 3 and 4, 1. The point is given 2, 3 and then 4, 1. Okay. Here what to do? I will suggest you that you take, you draw a line like that right here A and B and the coordinate is given for A that is given here 2 comma 3 and for B it is given 4 and 1. Then you need to find the distance between A B. Suppose the distance is D. Suppose the distance is D there. Now we have to start the solution. In solution what to write? First of all let a 2 3 and B 4 1 ok B 4 1 are the given points are the given points are the given points and distance between them and the distance is D and the distance is D. The distance I have taken as D. Now, here you can see that here first of all you can see that what is the value of x1 that x1 is 2. First of all you write x1 is 2. Then what is the value of y1? You can see y1 is 3. This is x1. This is y1. Then the point B that is x2, x2 is 4 and y2 is 1. Then you want to find D. Now you know that since D is given by a formula, the formula is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Now I am going to apply this formula to find the distance. You need to find here a distance. What you are going to find? A distance. So distance is given by this formula. You can just put the value of all these terms. X2, X2 you have seen that it is 4. So right here 4. X1 you are having 2. Right here 2. Then whole square plus Y2. Y2 is here 1. Then minus y1 is 3 its whole square now you can calculate it how to calculate 4 2 2 square plus here minus 2 square further if we will solve it it will be under root 2 square means 4 and it is also 4 that is 4 plus 4 is 8 and if you will find the square root of it that will come 2 root 2 units here you have need to write the unit because measurement units are required as distance 
you are measuring and there is nothing is given meter centimeter no units are written so just you can write the units so be very careful while writing your answer then if no unit is written you just write their units okay so like that you have got the answer so here what happened how i have got the answer in this case once again i am going to repeat it here in the question you are having two points and you need to find the distance between this given point first of all in solution part i have written let a is 2 3 and b is 4 1 at the given points and the distance is d now here what what given x1 is given as 2 x1 is given as 2 then y1 is given as 3 x2 is given as 4 and y2 is given as 1 then after writing everything you can write the formula that d equal to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square then put the value and just solve it just evaluate the things and then you will have the answer so like that you can do question number 1 1 let me show you one more question so this time i am taking 1 3 i am taking 1 3 so in 1 3 what are the points given it is given ab in 1 3 it is given your point is given as ab and the another point is minus a minus b minus a minus b so just you can draw a line segment and then you can write there a comma b and at the place of b you can write minus a and minus b and simply you can write that in the solution you can write how i have written let a ab and b minus a comma minus b are the given points are the given points you simply write till here okay no need to write other things here then you can write here x1 is a and x2 whatever x2 you are having that is minus a then y1 is there y1 is b and y2 that is given as minus b you need to find the distance therefore distance and you can write distance equal to what you are going to find the distance as per the formula you know the formula since d is equal to under root x2 minus x1 square plus y1 sorry y2 minus y1 square then just you put the values but one thing should be taken care if negative signs are there <coughs> you can take any of the bracket as per your choice as first bracket second bracket or third bracket according to your choice here x2 i can see x2 is negative so i can write minus a then minus x1 is a and here is square x2 minus x1 that means minus a and then again minus a square plus y2 y2 is minus b and here minus y1 is again b so minus b square then just you solve it how to solve it then you can write minus a and minus a that becomes minus 2a square plus here minus 2b square further if you will write it you are having a number that is 4a square plus 4b square further if you will write it you will have 4 as common and here a square plus b square further square root of 4 is coming out 2 and here a square plus b square can be written in this form itself because you cannot solve it so you can write 2 into a under root a square plus b square units will be the answer so like that you can write the solution of this question this is 1 3 of your ncert book okay i hope that you are learning it and today 
I am just discussing a simple formula that is known as the distance formula and you have to understand how to find out the distance between two given point in the uh, Cartesian system in the Cartesian co coordinate system actually. So, this is question number 1 3. Now, <coughs> one more question I am taking for you. Okay. So, uh, one one is done, one third is done. Now, here question number two, find the distance, distance between the point 0 0 and 36 uh, and 15. So, here question number two I am taking the given points here directly I can start like this here x1 is given as 0 and x2 what is the value of x2 36 x2 is 36 and y1 what is the value of y1 it is also 0 and here y2 is equal to y2 is equal to 15 so like that you can write that y1 is 0 and y2 is equal to 15. So, the points whatever point are written there that I have copied you need to find the distance. Since d is equal to once again I am going to write the same formula that is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Then just you took the values of these number x2 is 36 and minus x1 is 0 plus y2 you are having 15 and minus y1 is 0. So, your number is uh, like this it is 36 square and plus 15 square then just you calculate the number when you will multiply 36 and 36 then 36 and 36 after multiplying you will have 1 2 9 6 it is 1 2 9 6 and 15 15 if you will multiply you will have 2 2 5 that means 1 2 9 6 plus 2 2 5 that will be after adding 1 2 9 6 and 2 2 5 you will have 1 5 2 1 1 5 and 2 1 and then you will find the square root of 1 5 2 1 then the square root is will come as 39 units it will come as 39 units and in this way you can find the value of this distance between the these two given points ok so like this you can write your solution and it is your choice that for more convenience you can take draw a line segment like this and you can write your given points here so here x1 and y1 is given 0 0 and here the coordinate of b is given as a 36 and 15 36 and 15 so it is your choice that you are drawing it or not but as per my opinion you ma you can draw it to understand then you can understand that actually what you are going to find over there so question number 2 is also done for you now here one more question is there that is question number 3 in that question determine if the points 1 5 2 3 and minus 2 minus 11 are collinear so let us check this question now you are having question number 3 in that question what you are going to do determine if the points what what points are given here first of all three points are given 1 5 2 3 minus 2 and minus 11 and you need to check that whether they are collinear or not so what to do let us draw a line first ok in that line take three points a b and c now the coordinate of a is given that i can write 1 comma 5 and the coordinate of b is also given that is 2 comma 3 and the coordinate of c is also given that is minus 2 
and minus 11 that is minus 2 and minus 11 now you have to check that is these lines are collinear or not so just i have drawn this is the rough sketch it is the not it is not the final sketch this point may be collinear or may not be collinear how to check it first of all i will find the distance between a and b then i will find the distance between b and c then what i will do i will add ab and bc and i will check that if ab plus bc is coming to ac or not if ab plus bc will come to ac that means these points a b and c are collinear and if ab plus bc is not coming to ac that means these points are not collinear points so now let us start to check it first of all you need to write let a 1 5 comma b 2 3 and c minus 2 minus 11 are the given points are the given points first of all you have written this statement then i will find a b therefore if i will go to find a b what will a b so here now you can understand this is x1 y1 and for b it is x2 y2 so you are thinking about a and b only so what is a b according to distance formula this is 2 minus 1 whole square plus 3 minus 5 whole square 3 minus 5 whole square if you solve it you will have a number that is 2 minus 1 is coming as 1 square plus 3 minus 5 is coming as minus 2 square then solve it you will have this is 1 plus 4 that is under root 5 here you can write units then when ab is there then you need to find bc and the distance between points b and c will come how this time this is when you are thinking about bc then x1 y1 and x2 y2 so here it will be x2 that is minus 2 and then again minus 2 square then plus y2 minus y1 y2 is minus 11 and then minus 3 now you can solve this how to solve 2 2 4 it is giving you minus 4 square and plus here minus 14 square minus 14 square now just solve it how you have solved 4 square is giving you 16 and 14 square is giving you 1 9 6 it is giving when you will multiply 4 into 4 it will give you 16 and if you will multiply 14 into 14 okay so 14 and 14 if you will multiply that will give you what 14 and 14 that will give you 1 9 and 6 after adding you will have 212 so when you will add it that will give you 212 then you can find its square root As for finding a square root go to rough and do the prime factorization so when i have done the prime factorization its answer is coming 2 root 53 it is coming 2 root 53 units so my ab has come then my bc has come the, the bc is coming 2 and root 53 now i will find ac and again i will find ac then for ac once again i will think a and c i will look at two points a and c here x1 y1 and this is x2 and y2 in this case we, you, you are having x2 as minus 2 then minus 1 all square plus y2 y2 is this time minus 11 and minus y1 is uh, 5 okay so now you can find it 2 minus 2 minus 1 that is minus 3 square plus minus, minus 11 and minus 5 that is giving you minus 16 square and further it is coming as 
3 3 is a 9 and if you multiply 16 and 16 so 16 and 16 after multiplying you will have 2 5 6 it will be 2 5 6 now 2 5 6 plus 9 when you will add 2 5 6 it will be 265 it will be 265 and if you will try to find its square root you cannot find 265 will be under root 265 will be as it is under root 265 because after factor you will have only 5 into 53 that means no pair you cannot find any pair of their factors so it can be kept in this form itself now you need to check that now here what you will check you will be checking that ab plus bc you will be checking ab plus bc so ab the value of ab is root 5 and plus the value of bc is coming 2 into under root 53 this two these two numbers cannot be added as you can see you cannot add root 5 and plus 2 root 53 as they are the irrational numbers and your ac is there and it is under root 265 so here you have seen that ab plus here you can see that here ab plus bc ab plus bc is not equal to ac is not equal to ac therefore the given points are not collinear point therefore you can write your opinion your or your observation therefore the given points the given points are not collinear like that you have to write your answer or your observation that given points are collinear or not so here you have seen that these points are not collinear so using distance formula is very easy and simple term and you can use it very nicely for the next coming questions when the distance formula you are going to apply we will see some more questions in my coming class until you have to try the remaining questions by yourself thank you